Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 18 is finally here. One of the best iOS updates in years. It brings a ton of new features with all the new customization options and new control center. And of course, later on, we will also get the amazing new Apple intelligence features. But for now, we have this update that it's actually pretty cool. And of course, a lot of people will want to update to iOS 18. And that's due to the fact that also a ton of devices will be supported. So you're basically getting the same support as iOS 17. All the devices that have iOS 17 can also install iOS 18. But once you have this update on your device, the of course settings that you must change on your iPhone. So in today's video, I will show you guys 20 settings that I think you should change once you have updated your device to the new iOS 18. And we're starting things off with a new setting for the keyboard. So head on to your settings, go under general here, and then you will find your keyboard settings. You will find here a new option to show math results. So basically what Apple has done with iOS 18 is the ability to pretty much calculate anywhere you can type. Anywhere you can type, you just type anything you want, any formula, any like result you wanna get, and it shows you the result on the predictive text section. You can do that simply by enabling this setting right here. Moving on into the camera settings, we have a new setting here as well. So I'll head on under camera and then go to record sound. You will have the old options right there, but you also have allow audio playback. This means that by enabling this button, you're now able to shoot a video on your iPhone while having music playing in the background or whatever else you have playing in the background. It won't stop the audio playback so you can still record the video and have the audio in the background. Another great feature of iOS 18 is RCS messaging, basically allowing you to send messages to people that don't have iMessage, but with a lot more features. You can have typing indicator, reading recipes, you will also get higher quality photos and videos, but you will have to enable it and it also has to be supported by your carrier. Mine still doesn't support that, but what you can do on your device, you can check whether your device, your carrier does support it. You can do that by going to the messages settings and you will find right here under the text messaging section, RCS messaging, it will be at the top. Make sure you enable it right there. And now you can send RCS messages to people that don't have iMessage. Now with iOS 18, we also have a change under the battery section. So head on to battery right here and then go to charging. Now you will find the charge limit here. This used to be 80%, so you could switch it on or off, but now we have a slider where you can set the charge limit. Now you can change this as well, of course, if your device has this option. Now what you can do here is set the charge limit from 80 to 100 and you have 5% increments right there. Now I would suggest that you actually set this at 90 right there. That's the sweet spot. So you're preserving battery health and also getting the maximum charge on your iPhone that allows it to get more charge. And of course, a less, just like put less pressure on your battery. Apple has also added a ton of privacy settings for your contacts, finally. So what you need to do is head on to privacy and security, go to contacts, and right here, we'll see a list of apps that do have access to your contacts. So you can see it says full access, then you will have here none, full access again. So you can go ahead and change this. So you will have limited access, which basically is the ability for you to select any contact you want and allow that app to only have access to those specific contacts that you actually choose. Of course, that's a great option to have. And of course you can choose none as well, but for any of your apps, you can now change the privacy for your contacts. Moving on under Safari, again, we will have to find it right here on the list of apps. Then we have here Safari. So when you go to Safari on iOS 18 on the settings section, you will find something new. It is called Highlight. So basically a new feature that Apple has added for Safari right here. 
highlights is a new option that will show you highlights when so let's say reading an article or something it will show you the highlights of that page so you don't have to go ahead and read everything with ios 18 apple has also introduced a new passwords app so again let's go under apps here and let's find the passwords app so under passwords now we will have here a bunch of new settings that we have of course to change and take a look at see if everything is how it's supposed to be so go under passwords right here and you will have a few like different things so first of all we have here detect compromised passwords you want to make sure that you have that enabled so any of the passwords that you have saved into the app if they're compromised the app will give you an alert next up we're talking again about passwords we're moving here under the general settings so go to general settings and then go to autofill and passwords and right here it says set up codes in so of course you might have third-party apps but if you want to use the new native passwords app that apple has released you can just go ahead and now tap right there and make sure you have selected the passwords app next up we're moving under the x build settings and let's head on to siri right here we have a few settings to change here as well now first of all we will have here require siri for interruptions so basically when siri is speaking to you you can just say the word and you can interrupt siri so if you want to say something you say the word it interrupts siri and you can continue on with a question or whatever you have for siri so you enable it right here now we have another setting here called a listen for a typical speech so basically by enabling this it expands the speech pattern which siri will listen for so even if you're stumble a bit while talking or you you're interrupted or something like that siri will actually listen to you and understand what you're saying next up we have a pretty cool new feature that apple has added to ios 18 it is called eye tracking now i suggest that you keep this off now this is a cool feature and it's very very useful of course for people that do actually need it but if you don't really need this feature don't leave it enabled because it will require quite a lot of cpu power that way of course consuming a ton of battery so eye tracking you can set it up and try it out if you want to but i would suggest for for the long run you keep it off and we have another setting right here under motion so go to motion and you will have the ability to enable autoplay message effects so basically Apple has added a ton of like different effects to messages with iOS 18 and this will allow those messages to auto play so you don't have to, to tap on them to play you can just enable the feature right here next up we have vocal shortcuts so you go here and enable this it's pretty cool actually it allows you to do a lot of things using your voice so in this case you will basically create a shortcut that you will say to your iPhone and it will trigger that action that you select so you tap on add action you can set up the vocal shortcuts right here and you can just run like request siri or run any of your shortcuts right here or any of the system settings so it's pretty cool you select it here and you say the phrase basically the command that you will use to trigger that action and it will do that for you so it's actually pretty useful and we're moving back here under the password section so go here and make sure that you have enabled suggest strong passwords that way whenever you're setting up a password on the passwords app the app will actually suggest you a really strong password which of course will be way harder to crack or for someone to maybe compromise your data or any of your accounts so make sure you always have this enabled and then we have a few more settings that i suggest everyone must change on their device even though these will not be new settings that you will find on ios 18 you can even find these on all their devices first of all notifications i always suggest that you take a look at your notifications and see which apps you're actually allowing to just send you notifications there will be of course a ton of apps sending you notifications most of them you probably don't need to be like urgent notifications make sure to turn those off or at least keep most of them on the scheduled summary moving on under sounds and haptics also under sounds and haptics 
things like haptics for your keyboard will consume a ton of battery because these of course do use the haptic engine on your device so you can go ahead and turn them off right here from the keyboard settings you will also have the option here to actually choose to never play haptics or just play haptics when your iphone is on silent mode if you keep haptics on all the time even on the ringer mode it will consume a ton of battery because all the notifications everything have haptics that way the engine will actually consume a ton of battery another setting i always suggested to turn off is the ability to always for siri for always to listen to you so go under accessibility here and then go back to siri and you will find here always listen for basically if you enable this siri will be listening to you all the time for the command so it launches whether your iphone is facing down or it's in your pocket it will always be listening and as you know things that are always active they do consume a ton of battery Another really important setting, especially when it comes to performance and battery on your iPhone, is background app refresh. Head on here, go to background app refresh, and make sure you turn off most of the apps right here. Just take a look at this list. If you find any apps that you think should be refreshing in the background and you need them to, leave them on. But for the most apps, you should actually have this feature turned off. And for the last couple of settings, we're moving under privacy right here. Of course, location services, one of the services on your iPhone, one of the features that will consume most of the battery. Check the apps right here. See which apps are tracking your locations and make sure that you turn a lot of them off and don't leave them just always tracking your location. Or at least go ahead and choose while using the app and disable precise location you can do this of course for most of the apps and not the gps apps or ba basically any app that you have like maybe google maps or some things like that but for other apps you can actually turn this off and it will help a lot and last but not least is app privacy report now this is a pretty cool feature it shows you everything that apps are using on your device all the sensors your contacts your photos as you can see right here it shows when an app has used what they have used on your device but if you don't really think you need this then go ahead and turn it off because it's a battery drainer it will consume a ton of battery because it's always collecting data it's always working in the background so what you need to do is go ahead and turn it off simply slide all the way down you will find the off button right there so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more ios 18 videos we have a ton of new videos coming out really really soon make sure to subscribe for that and i'll see you on the next one